Hi Gemini, this is going to be your reading for October 2024. Before I start to let you know, if you wanted to get a personal reading, you can find out how to do that on my website and the link to that is in the description box below. So, uh, what are we getting for Gemini for October? I've got two gold rings, eternity rings they're saying, and they're on, like in the ears of a bull, like earrings. Uh, the bull is about strength and something coming through, like bulldozing through. And the rings, well, they've said they're eternity rings. They've also got a red stone, like a garnet. I think, well, it's they said garnet, so it's a garnet, I guess. I don't know what garnet means. You might want to look it up. Uh... I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Let's see what um, uh, so I was just seeing if I could get anything on that but I can't. It's just Garnet so G-A-R-N-E-T if you want to look it up. Right so Gemini Eternity. That means forever Something coming through in regard to that, which is really strong. <sighs> They're saying an indication, which means coming to light. We've got the tower, which is an ending. So we've got the tower coming out first. Something shifting. Something coming to light. The lid coming off something. See how the top is coming off the tower there. The lid coming off and something coming to light. And it's breakout moment, they're saying, and it's about breaking free. And it's um, struggles ending. So it's a struggle coming to an end somehow. Home. We've got the four of wands, which is symbolic of home. It's also talking about family, creation of family, they're saying. The family that you want, not the family that you're in, necessarily. And coming home to that. So it's coming to rest, they're saying. Something coming to rest. So we've got an explosion, and then we've got something kicking off, they're saying, like starting, and then something coming to rest. So after the, you're going to go through something which is like an eruption. It might be an energetic thing, um, so it might just be around your state of being, like your state of well-being. Or maybe you just um, start to, like, your feeling, you know, like your physical feeling I'm getting. Where you feel like you've been ailing in some way and not feeling up to things it's just going to suddenly you know you're going to explode into like a feeling of like being feeling brighter stronger more capable resilient and then it's just going to settle down the energy they're saying uh, they're both energy cards the tower and the wands it's all energy so it's all about the settling down here of energy and you're coming home to yourself, I feel, in a certain way. That's like you're feeling settled and you're feeling secure and you're feeling competent and you're feeling like nothing can affect you somehow, like nothing can bother you or worry you or nothing can get to you. So it feels like here the struggles that you've gone through where things have got on top of you. And that could be other people, it could be the place that you're living in, it could be events you've had to go through, it could be the environment um, where you've been faced with a lot of stress Basically, we've got something like kicking off and an ending then of that and inside of you it being like, ah, oh, like that, ah, oh, moment of relief as you settle into what feels like, oh, that's that, that's over, something being over for you and it being over in a really good way and it's it could be around your home as well so it might be like, oh, finally, you know, the blocks are off and I'm leaving here and everything that I need to deal with here is done, something like that. And again, in an energetic way, because so the work that you did in the place that you're living is about the environment that you're in and the people that you're connected to around that place and in that locality, right? And it will come to an end in terms of what you might have had to go through in terms of being attacked or being set upon by individuals that are not of the light. They're saying the world which is freedom and the end of a journey so definitely something coming to an end for you that has been very stressful they're saying commonplace so that means it's just something in your environment that's like on a daily basis where you feel like you're being like you're under the thumb 
they're saying, like you feel like you're being pushed downwards, you know, into like, oh, it, like it's horrible here and I don't like it, I don't like the people, I don't like what I'm going through, everything seems to be against me, I'm up against it, a feeling like that, the sending, and you're coming into a light where it's like, ah, oh, and the road opens up to a brand new journey. We've got timing in the Wheel of Fortune, so definitely it's time for something new to come. This world card is all about not seeing what it is that's coming next, but just being, it's like the feeling that needs to be in you to create the thing that comes next. It's a bright new future, they're saying. So first of all, you've got to have the feeling of it feels really good, and no more do I feel put upon right and then from that feeling like ah oh, it's all over that feeling basically you've got something coming like it's time for something new what it is let's have a look in the heart of the matter in the middle of the reading we've got a physical connection the eight of pentacles so it's something coming physically for you so where you've gone through an energetic process which is the elimination of the dark and the entering into the light bit by bit by bit by bit by bit by whatever it is, has come towards you on your path where you have had to face dark energy is over and then what you're going to bring yourself into the physical from that is something brand new which is going to feel match up to your feeling good and there's a lot of strength like in the bull right a strength of you understanding your knowingness remember the bull is Taurus as well so it's a really down-to-earth feeling like how they're coming through you can probably hear it right now is a really like definite <laughs> Taurus is such a definite sign. It so puts the kibosh on any other idea apart from what it is that it knows to be true <laughs> in a very fundamentally physical way, right? And this is what this card is saying. What you know to be true is coming to you in the physical. Eight of Pentacles. You're arriving, they're saying. It's the arrival. And there's a lot of wisdom backing it up, right? But it feels like you've had to like battle through what has been up against your wisdom somehow. Now, maybe you've been in a location where you've been like, it's not appeared as though your twin flame process is leading to anything good. And all of a sudden you see like it's all over for me here and now it's coming. And you feel that like rush, they're saying, like the rush of truth coming towards you that matches up to the wisdom that you had, that you were, that was some things, were, like everything was getting in the way of that wisdom being the truth by what you were seeing around you. <sighs> Brand new journey in the full, they just said you're going to brush up against the truth. So it's like, um, and they're showing me like the leaves rustling and the trees and the wind gently, um, making the physical domain, like the leaves are representative of the physical domain, like it just kind of slowly um, kind of coming through in terms of news, they're saying, showing up, right? And then it's like the dinosaur is coming through the tree, like when you see them rustling around in Jurassic, whatever it is, <laughs> well, you could not see them at first, right? <laughs> and then they come, and they're massive, and it's huge, so something huge is coming, but you can't see it right now just yet, it's just the rustling of the leaves, you can feel it in the breeze, they're saying, feel it all around you, right, feel it in the wind, <laughs> feel the clarity and the clearness, and the wisdom coming through, nine of wands, the wounded warrior, the masculine returns, they just said, so down but not out, we always say that, up and down but not out, the world, the freedom in the world, right? The What appears to be like nothing going on, the rustling of the leaves here was coming towards you in the physical. The dinosaur, the tyrann Tyrannosaurus, the wounded warrior, right? The masculine. There he is. He's on his way. Um, and then here we've got celebrate. Good times, come on. <laughs> um, four of Wands feeling good, celebrate, this is juxtapositioned, right, there's like, what's going on here, you might not feel like, what's going on, what's going on, because it's like, it feels calm, it feels serene, yeah, there's a breeze, there's a rustling of leaves, there's something coming physically, you can't see it yet, I've got an urge to celebrate, and feel like I want to like, fly the freak flag, and dance around naked with a 
with a cocktail in my hand. But why? Because I don't, all I, there is is a fluttering of leaves. It's like this juxtaposition of feeling, I feel is coming for you in terms of where you're at and where you're going to. So maybe there's a celebration coming. You can feel it internally. There's nothing there for it to celebrate yet. I don't know if you're going to do it. It feels like you're like, well, okay, but let's just, um, I kind of feel like I want to celebrate, but should I celebrate? Because there's nothing to celebrate as such. Is feeling calm a good enough thing to celebrate? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Maybe you're going to celebrate after something comes here in the physical. We don't know. It's different for everyone. Some could throw themselves into it. Some might hold back. Who knows? It's definitely there for you if you want it. And then we've got the love that returns, right? In the Five of Cups, which is the um, love that's not seen yet. Over here, which is looks like it wasn't around, wasn't coming back. But here it is on the outcome. It's a definite shift into the physical of what could not be seen yet. Coming through the trees. Uh, they're just singing that. What is that uh, Kate Bush song? Um, it's coming through the trees. <laughs> Hounds of love. Right, that one I think. It starts off with them shouting that. Anyway. That one there, so on his way he is, the wounded warrior, and underlying that we've got justice. Now this could be a legal, something around you that was a legal situation, that had to be, uh, you had to call the law, call the police, <laughs> right? You might have had to do that or something, or call a lawyer, or deal with something, you know, put like something to right, they're saying. They also said show it up as truth. So it's like, show a situation for what it is, right? Put someone in their place, perhaps. Not your twin, somebody around you, someone else in your environment. And we've got that underlying everything. Um, but also a sense of justice and completion in that. And that's the 11, the justice card. So it's also about waking up. So that's what we've got for you. I'm going to put a couple more down on... I'm going to put one on Eight of Pentacles, because it's right in the middle. It's heart of the reading. Higher self, so let go. There is a let go coming, right, around something that is to do with a legal, uh, they're saying legal entitlement, so maybe it's your rights, by somebody, like, because they're beginning, they're saying where you've been squashed down, right, people telling you you don't have a right to do something, maybe, or you have to behave a certain way, but they're not right about what they're saying, your rights coming into full view, you taking hold of that like a bull by the horns, right, and setting it right they're saying so maybe you push in through like you can't tell me what to do something like that to whoever it is that's been trying to put the kibosh on you living your truth and living in accordance with your rights and underneath because I'm putting one down on the justice as well ending to a situation and mental situation where you've had it all pressure on top of you it's an ending of something in terms of a judicial nature all right and then I'm going to put one on the five of cups I think that might be the last let's put one on the five of cups down here <sighs> love coming along so on the hot hot on the heels of something that's set to right put right is love coming along and again it's like um a slow breeze first of all and they're singing it again. It's coming through the trees. <laughs> you can hear it through the trees. So it's in the leaves. I'm going to get one more out on here. Ending. It's bringing an ending for you in terms of everything that you, that's got you down, they're saying. Just got you down. You know, when you're human, things get you down. So that's what it's an ending of. So I'm going to leave it at that for you. Lots of love and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good month.